it's something that I want, want to do for a while. I didn't realise we only needed six months experience, otherwise I would have started a lot sooner. As soon as I come in for my open day and listen to everything, it was perfect for me. I thought, yeah, that's exactly what I, I want to be doing. And I haven't looked back. So the Mentor Academy is somewhere where you go to uh, increase your level um, from uh, operator level to instructor level. For me, for the confidence thing, if you'd see me when I was doing the classroom lessons, I would never thought I'd be able to do it in the field, but they do help me quite massively in doing that. There's a lot of preparation that goes into the background of being able to present uh, a presentation to a good level, to a good degree. In regards to mentor, the academy obviously sets you up and gets you ready for that. Mentor give you great support through your field advisors, the operational management and their team. So the field training assessor is um, the FD. They come to visit us uh, periodically to make sure we're providing training to the right level required by the accrediting body. Barry who kept coming out to see me, especially on the early times, and he gave me some details on how to uh, progress, lengthen my speech on like the health and safety part, the detail of at the truck, pre-shift check, etc. Any questions or queries we ever have on sites, we can pick up our phone and the field training assessor is almost always available for us. In terms of the planning the work, they do all the planning the work. You can also ring the office, you've got uh, guys in there who can give you technical advice on the equipment that you're using, so there is always someone there. A lot of people are worried about taking that big step, but there's no need to. That step is wonderful. I'm always trying to get friends to do it as well, you know what I mean? You know, they've got to be able to come away from that and think, right, still a job, we can still get you work Monday to Friday. You know, I think that's what main, mainly what most people worry about. Uh, your flexibility is based on your availability. So if you've got other commitments, children, school, run, whatever it may be, you can actually work with mentor and have them fill in the gaps for you, essentially. Uh, being my own boss did appeal to me. Um, running my own life means I can have more time with my kids and my family. I'm not managed by anybody and that's the other key benefit, so I'm managed solely by myself. Not always going to be there till four o'clock, so some days, you know, you can be finished early, but also it's a bit of give and take. So for me, I've been there with, you know, might be there for a bit of extra, extra half an hour to an hour after the course. But it's fine because some days you finish at 12, so like I say, it's a bit of give and take. So in terms of job security, there's no limit to the amount you, you want to work. You can literally work as much as you want to, or as little as you want to based on your availability. You get all the freedom of being an instructor. You get the holidays when you want them, time off when you want it. Now that I'm working for myself, I can claim my fuel as an expense, I can claim any uh, transport as expenses, any accommodation as expenses, any parking costs as expenses and this all comes against my end of year tax figure. I haven't looked back since, it was the best decision of my life.